<laughs> Hello there everyone, I'm Normal YouTuber and I'm here to foster the mentality that everything's going to be alright. The primary purpose of this video is to distract both you and myself from the crushing shadow of loneliness, depression, and all the fucked up little things in our society lurking just beneath the surface. That's why you clicked on this video, right? So you could... Watch, watch some guy make funny comments about an, old, about an old video game so you don't have to think about how fucked up your life is. So that's what I'm, I'm, that's what I'm here, that's what we're all here for. That's what YouTube is for. I'm smiling and happy and definitely did not just eat a whole big bowl of barbecue potato chips because it stops me from thinking about my depression while I'm eating it. It's not some sort of weird pseudo-drug addiction. Everything's gonna be okay, everything's alright, and it's okay that s that some of the people who made this video game I'm playing are probably dead now and this is their legacy. Man, isn't it so wacky how fragile the human body is? Like, if you perform a straight right into someone's face in this video game, they just fall over and they're fine. But if you do that in real life, they kind of fucking die. It's kind of hilarious how fragile the human body is, how easily we break. Look at how silly this falling animation is right here. Look at how few frames that has. It's almost like te technology keeps marching forward and all of the previous generation's technological achievements will be ignored, forgotten, and more difficult to explain as time goes on, rendering their hard work useless and even comical. Speaking of the forward march of technology, isn't it funny how time marches heedlessly forward regardless of how much pain anyone is in or how badly they just wish it would all stop? so they could get a hold of their lives and appreciate what they have, so that way they don't spend the rest of their life in regret w without understanding what they were doing at the time, and now it's too late, and you're 60 years old, and your life is over, and all you did was make Kageki Fist of Steel for the Sega Genesis, and you, d and you don't want that to be your fucking legacy. Nobody's even gonna know you made it, and if they did, you wouldn't want that. Everything's gonna be okay and every piece of media you consume definitely isn't just there to distract you from all the horrible things going on and the fact that you have to die someday. It's absolutely 100% guaranteed that you will wake up tomorrow and not die in your sleep after watching this video. I'm sure that's gonna happen. That's what I'm here for, that's what all YouTube videos are here for. They're here to show you that life is funny, and that, that life's gonna keep going on forever indefinitely and nothing bad will ever happen even if you're incredibly sick and even if you're not sick it's fine just don't think about death it's it's not gonna come for a long time it's, you know what maybe you won't die at all who knows and definitely don't let what you're seeing on screen here discourage you from creating your own fictional media because other people definitely won't make fun of it years from now when it becomes obsolete that definitely won't happen and you should totally pour all your heart and soul into everything you make because that is guaranteed to get you a return in the exact sum of how much energy you spend in it. You know, it, equivalent exchange is real. That's a real thing. If you work hard on something, it'll it'll totally pay off. 100%. That's how that's how real life works. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to you or anyone you know, and if something bad does happen to them, they probably deserved it, and it definitely won't happen to you. It's not- it, you're going to be fine. And remember that everyone that disagrees with you is your enemy, and they're all villains, and you're the good guy, and the people who agree with you are the good guys, and there's definitely- There's definitely good guys and bad guys in real life, and humans aren't just varying degrees of shit. No, that's not how it works. You're a good guy, and all the people you agree with are good guys, and- you don't have to worry about that because you wouldn't exist if you weren't a good guy, right? You would you would know if you were a bad guy because you'd be doing evil things like all those people you disagree with, like wh whatever weird political beliefs you hold personally. I'm not here to divide people, that's the opposite of what these videos are for. I'm here to make you believe that everything's gonna be okay regardless of who you are and regardless of how shitty your life is. You come here and laugh at me laughing at old video games and, and you believe that life's gonna be okay and, and, all the, and all the people that you disagree with are evil and the people you like are good and as long as I keep it as vague as possible you won't I, won't... I won't accidentally spill out any of my own beliefs and everybody gets to walk away happy believing they're right and that everything's okay and nothing bad's gonna happen. 
you're the protagonist and you're gonna get the girl and or guy and or other gender denomination and you're gonna win at the end of the day and your beliefs are gonna are gonna come out on top and the world's gonna bend to your to your convictions and and everything's gonna be okay at the end you're gonna have a happy ending but it won't actually be an ending because you're gonna live forever unless you don't want to everything's gonna be fine there's no division here this definitely isn't me making any commentary about hubris and how fucked up human tribalism is. That's silly. That's not what you come to watch YouTube videos for. You come to watch YouTube videos about old video games to laugh at old video games and, and, and not think about hard things at the end of the day before you go to sleep so that way you can wake up tomorrow and, and go to work or whatever it is you do in the morning regardless of how depressing or undepressing it may be. You just want to watch videos and go to bed. And you gotta go to sleep with good thoughts, you know? If you watch a video that has sad thoughts or reminds you of something sad, you gotta keep clicking through the videos until you find one that's, that makes you feel happy and makes you laugh. Otherwise, you'll go to bed with sad thoughts. And you can't go to sleep with sad thoughts, because then you'll worry about whether you're gonna wake up or whether, or whether things are gonna turn out okay tomorrow and what direction your life is headed. If you're gonna even have a life uh, for much longer. And, and, you know, you just gotta... You don't want those thoughts. You just, you want the nice thoughts. The ones that come when you laugh at people playing old video games, laughing with you about old video games. Not thinking about life. Life, life is fine. Everything's so, why would you need to think about life if it's okay? Everybody's fine all the time. Nobody's hurt. Unless you don't like them and want them to be hurt. Then they're probably hurt. And they deserved it. That big project you're working on is gonna pay off and people will see how much hard work you put into it and and, you know, the, the way it's received by the general public definitely isn't completely arbitrary based on our own biases or anything like that. It's guaranteed that your big project's gonna turn out alright. And, you know, if you have a mediocre job and don't work on any big projects, that's fine too. You definitely won't regret that later in life. It's gonna be alright. It's definitely not a worse feeling than never finishing your life's work. Those are two equ equally terrible, not, uh, e equally se separate, not terrible. It, everything is fine. And, and Kageki Fists of Steel is a, is a funny video game, and it's funny how shitty this video game is, and you should laugh at me laughing at it. And this is of the fat, there's a fat guy in Japan, a fat, a fat sumo, and the sewer is a big fucking sewer grate in the middle of the goddamn floor, and there are traffic co How the fuck did they get the traffic cones in that car up this high on the building? Laugh with me. Laugh at how absurdly unrealistic this set piece is and how small their budget was for this arcade conversion of a game that came out shortly before its release. Uh oh, look out! The boss guy got, got his rage mode activated and it's funny how in the arcade version his rage mode made him act differently but here it doesn't. Maybe because they didn't have time to program it or something? That's funny. It, it's funny how his rage mode doesn't actually make him behave any differently. It's great. And not at all depressing, like everything else in life. Re rem remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, your life has inherent meaning. Life has inherent value. Uh, the universe is not an uncaring void. Your fellow human is is definitely definitely cares for you personally, and doesn't just like you for what they see in you. All right. Uh, remember, life has inherent meaning. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you next week.